Well, hello. It's been a while. Uh, we had a really nice snowfall overnight, and I just had to come out and take some photos. So, messing with a couple of different things today. Um, might try and tell you about my process as of late. But right now, I just wanted to uh, get out and enjoy this beautiful weather in one of my favorite winter wonderland type places uh, near Centennial Park here in Thunder Bay. So about three or four months ago, I really got on this kick where I wanted to spend less time in uh, post-production of my photos and I really wanted to get back into that kind of film aspect of trying to get the look you want all done in camera without very little post-production. I've been researching it off and on for the better part of a year after buying this Nikon. And uh, I stumbled across a forum where someone had mentioned uh, loading actual color profile presets into the camera itself and uh, I'll put the link below and what it does is uh, some uh, very smart people have managed to somehow build their own film looking profiles that you can load right into the camera so instead of shooting the photo as best you can with you know the right amount of histogram and exposure and all that kind of stuff and then fixing it afterwards or getting it to the point where you want it afterwards this allows one to select a type of film look that they're going for right off the hop and then uh, kind of treat the digital camera like a film camera which I thought was really cool so I think there's about two dozen film type looks that they've they've tried to achieve on this website and my favorite one so far has been uh, I think it's called Fuji Velvia portrait and it's uh, it reminds me of the 35 millimeter kind of stock that I used to use uh, back in the 90s when I took film school and photography so it's kind of what I'm using actually to record this video with too so it's all done in the camera so what you get is what you get. You can kind of touch it up a little bit afterwards, but what I found is I'm spending way less time after the fact touching up my photos to try and make them look like this. And I can spend more time out in the field shooting stuff like this on these beautiful wintry days. As you can see, it's just, just breathtaking up here. All the fresh fallen snow. And the trick is, especially with this, uh, this Fuji preset that I'm using in the camera, is to really focus on not blowing out the sky. So the way I'm achieving this is being in complete manual mode and then uh, just adjusting my shutter speed. As you can see, as I flip through it, and what I'm trying to do is just get a little bit of blue, and then I can make um, just all the detail in the sky kind of pop out a little bit. The nice thing with all this fresh fallen snow up here is that it covers up all the painted graffiti that someone uh, tried to do up here over the summer. Got some people out hiking, taking advantage of this gorgeous weather we're having here at the end of January. Usually it's like minus 20. I think my car said minus six on the way up here. Some snowshoers down below. 
This is pretty cool. I've never been back here before. Nice little trail system. It looks like it just has a bit of a loop back to the main parking lot. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to try out today is a fake drone shot. And uh, I saw this on uh, someone else's YouTube channel and it looked like a really cool thing to try. So I don't own a drone, that's the reason I want to try this. So I have a somewhat long selfie stick and I'm gonna put my GoPro on top of it and then slowly lean in over the edge and try and replicate kind of a slow moving reveal shot that you would get with a drone without spending the money on a drone. Guess it helps. It helps to keep it straight. It's not all crooked. Keep it straight. All right, everybody, whoever's watching this, probably nobody, but uh, I sure do enjoy making these. I seem to learn something new every time I come out, and uh, that's half the joy of photography. So hopefully you got something out of this, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.